Example 6 will be a different type of question that will use complete the square method to try to solve. What we're supposed to do is that we're supposed to show that this quadratic equation 2x squared plus 6x plus 10 is never less than 5 and a half. How are we going to show that this quadratic equation is never less than 5 and a half? Okay, we use complete the square method. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, let us first complete the square. Okay, so after completing the square using the same thing that we have been doing so far, take out the 2, we'll be left with 3x plus 5. Okay, so and then of course, we simplify it further. Okay, and go on to the next step. Plus 3x plus 3 over 2. Right, minus the same thing, 3 over 2 plus 5. Okay? Then of course, don't forget the equal sign. And of course, the first three terms now become a perfect square, isn't it? So it becomes 3 over 2 in the square. So what we have here will be 9 over 4 plus 5. Okay? Multiplying the 2 at the end of the day, after completing the square, this is what we will get. Plus 5 and the half. Okay, now this is when you must start to really understand and make sense of your answer now. What have you done? Well, what we have done is we have practically just changed our quadratic equation into a, com uh, into a completed the square form, right? Now what do we know about this quadratic equation is that this is a minimum curve because it has got positive x squared. So it's a minimum curve that will look a little like this. Okay, it's a happy face curve. Now what we know by completing the square is that we know that the minimum value okay, will be at 5 and a half. What this tells us is that the curve will only reach a minimum okay, of 5 and a half. Okay, so this point here, right, the lowest point that the curve will go will be at 5 and a half. How are you going to present your answer? Well, you, you present the answer this way. Well, you say that since the minimum value of y is 5 and a half, y will never be less than 5 and a half. Okay? So this is how you use complete the square method to show a uh, minimum value or maximum value Okay, that a quadratic curve can uh, ever take. Right. Of course, there are other methods that you can employ to do this question. One of the methods will be um, to sketch this curve um, out completely. So you can actually choose to sketch this, and you will get a curve like this. Of course, with more details, including the axis and the xy intercept. All right. Um, and then you can make a deduction from there as well, your conclusion. Okay.